நாம இன்னைக்கு படிச்சவங்களா பண்புள்ளவர்களா சுதந்திரமா எல்லா வளர்ச்சியும் அனுபவிக்கிறோம் அப்படின்னா கடந்த நூற்றாண்டுல அறியாமலும் அடிமைத்தனத்திலும் நாகரீக அறியாதவங்களா இருந்த மக்களிடம் சென்று மிஷனரிமார்கள் தன்னுடைய வாழ்க்கையை அர்ப்பணித்து ஒழித்ததுதான் இதற்கு முக்கிய காரணம் நாம அனுமதிக்கிற இந்த வளர்ச்சிக்கு பின்னாடி மிஷனரிமார்களுடைய தியாகம் கலிந்த உழைப்பு அடிக்கடி அவங்க சந்தித்த தனிமை அசௌகரியங்கள் மற்றும் சில நேரங்கள்ல தங்களுடைய மனைவி பிள்ளைங்க கூட நோய்வாய்ப்பட்டு சாக கொடுத்தாங்க இன்னும் சில நேரம் திரும்பவும் தங்கள் தாய்நாட்டுக்கு போகவே இல்லை மறிப்பு வரை அங்கேயே இருந்து உழைச்சாங்க அப்படி தங்களுடைய வாழ்க்கையை அர்ப்பணித்த ஒரு சில விசேரிமார்களை ஒரு இடம் எங்களுடைய கிட்ஸ் கிண்டம் பிள்ளைங்க நினைச்சு பார்க்கறாங்க வாங்க பார்க்கலாம் Today I am going to talk about some land about William Kelly. He was born in UK, England. When he was a student in school, he used to learn many languages such as Dutch, French, Italian, etc. He also used to do a part-time job as a cobbler. When he grew up, he made a European missionary in 1997, I mean 1792 and went to India. and saw that many women were being killed because their husbands had died so he worked with raja ram mohan rai after some years he in, he made a printing press and translated the bibles into many languages such as bengali marathi and sanskrit that mohan is a son of a tax collector he looked put his parents and became an orphan in a young tender age however from a rebellious thief he transformed into a humble servant of god he longed his life for his life to be a living manifestation of the strength and power of christ george became a christian evangelist and the director of the sheep town of wenwich in bristol England. He established 117 schools which offered Christian education to more than 120,000 children. From the beginning, George was determined to never ask for funds from people or to borrow money. Instead, he made an agreement with God that he would depend on him alone for everything. He trusted wholly in the Lord's faithfulness and provision. We can be like George Mueller. We can learn to rest in our Heavenly Father's loving care. Depend upon the God of the impossible in every area of our life. We can pray in faith and believe and serve. Find the ultimate purpose for our life. Let's be little George Mueller. I am Clara Stu. I am third son of Edward Stu, a very successful businessman. I am born on 1860 in England. My brother and myself were famous cricketers. I was spent a lot of time in practicing cricket. I was a nominal Christian and did not have time to read the Bible or pray. When the older brother George stood was sick in bedbed, I realized that our fame or rich will not save our life and that it could provide eternal life after death. We as the team camp 7 went to China and labored there. Me and my wife Priscilla started Opium Refuge Home Center for people who were addicted to drugs, who looked exhausted and very lazy. There were about 800 people received treatment, accepted the gospel and got saved. In 1900 to 1906, for six years, I was serving as a pastor in Uti in India. In 1910, when I served among can- cannibals in Africa, God protected me from cannibals and wild animals. Me and my wife were not able to meet each other for 11 years because of shortage of missionaries. Just after I finished my preaching, my last word before my death and entered the gates of heaven was Hallelujah. And I carried the gospel to all four continents so that many souls were saved. Life of Sophia Blackmore Sophia Blackmore was born to a Christian family in Australia. She wanted to be a missionary in China. But when she was in India, she decided to come to Singapore as a missionary. Sophia Blackmore arrived in Singapore on 16 July 1887. That same year, she opened a school called Tamil Girls School and also Anglo-Chinese Girls School 
in August 1888. Blackmore saw the need for a home for girls and in 1890, a boarding home was set up for abandoned girls and orphans. There, the girls were noted in the Christian faith. Blackmore headed the Bible Women's Training School to train local women on the duties of Christian social work. Sophia went home to Australia in 1928. She had been a faithful servant to God and served Him in simple faith knowing that Jesus loves me for the Bible tells me so.